the ship is super well the way to be. He's going to go on ten rounds. Jesus Ramos. In fact, he has been fighting at 154 pounds, or rather, fighting at 147. We're going to learn about a lot about him tonight. He has sparred with Terence Crawford. He's taken less productions. Arthur Mercanti. All right, fans. He. I expect you to obey these rules. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck. By Luke. And while he's trying to create an upset tonight, Paul Kroll, too, but lost the decision. So he knows what it's like to go in there as an underdog. And uh, Ramos is, you know, to hurt Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. Santa Maria got hurt in the first round. With that left hook, mm -hmm. the rest of that fight, and that's part of the reason why he didn't uh, get to Santa Maria's. Yeah, and as the taller fighter that you are, Ramos, you know, you're keeping him at bay. Could Hopefully become a champion. Of course, God knows this is a rough division to become a champion in. Ramos trying to reach to the body, or rather uh, Santa Maria trying to reach to the body. Look at it. Santa Maria is happy with the way this fight's being fought because he's able to move, he's able he to... Knock out some of his 18 wins. Whether you score it for him will depend on whether you think he landed enough punches, but right. stylistically... Even then, you, you might sense that Ramos is getting hit. Ramos, he's got to cut off the angle a little Stop bit more. The strip on. There's that straight left from Ramos. It... Just changing a fight with one punch, and there is that left yeah, hand. Good left hand. Right. Both those caught on the glove side. Yeah, and right at the moment, I'm working Ramos. Mm -hmm. No push. No yeah, a little push. bit in this round. A fight that uh, Santa Maria is, well, I was going to use the term holding his own, but he might be. I mean, I don't want to call him a slow fighter, but, you know, you could almost time his punches, and that's what's going to reach. Would allow him to get some of those punches, and he hasn't gotten, he has gotten in the, in the corner against the ropes. If he were to let, yeah, there. And Santa Maria really being the aggressor. Pull that in. Well, you know, I'm hardy to think that Santa Maria's boxing couldn't keep him in this fight. That's where you want to do. That's exactly. I like how you just Step close back. that, Step close back. that guard. Just that little hook to the body. Here's what I think Santa Maria should do with that and double with that. Uh, clearly bothered Ramos. I don't know if it hurt him, but it certainly bothered him. Yeah, and it, it's going to be interesting to see how the judges see the. I think you can make an argument for his having won the first four rounds, first three rounds. Uh, maybe. I you know, uh, he lands clean punches here and there, but Santa Maria's counter punching is really what I'm... The only time he did th uh, the switch on, lefty was again. when Sa uh, Ramos got in really close. In Las Vegas, they went to Las Vegas Watch to your train. He said he likes to get out of town to sometimes... Yeah, you want to have good conditioning. You talked about the condition for Santa Maria to keep that pace going. Nice work. And now Santa Maria's doubling with the left hook. Yeah, that was... all for action. See, I like what Ramos is doing now. He's, he's throwing that left two times there. You keep playing with the body, make him put his hands down and throw that left there. And it's been a very competitive fight. He's on par with that. And a good right hand a moment ago caught Ramos stepping in. That was one of the... There, and he, right away he wheels away. Well, he's fighting a very smart fight, though. He says after this fight, yeah. I'm going back to 47. <laughs> And show people where, uh, you know, he's a solid fighter. Oh, he's definitely showing that. But meaning, meaning uh, Ramos is not letting his hands go as much because Santa Maria is making it really oh, oh. Yeah, he stopped using the jab a lot. Go of his flurry. He knows Santa Maria is going to come back with just one punch, and Santa Maria comes right. 16,000 people and just taking a look from our seat. I don't see an empty seat. Ticket seller really uh, now for several years has been so consistent. Uh, just cannot figure out this oh. enigma in front of him. And Salmon, I said yeah, that works, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. Oh. again too, just too quick. Oh. See how uh, Santa Maria switched the Nice combination for Ramos, but Santa Maria nice comes right back. The one, but I uh, gave Ramos the first three rounds. I thought they were pretty close. But I thought he was landing. Uh, Steve and I have been doing fights together and known each other for yeah. I don't know how many years. We almost always. Uh, and I, you know, those first few rounds were close. Material girl here herself. Yeah. Meantime, we got a heck of a fight going on.
Yeah, and that's when he gets his punches going. Ramos, he's got the momentum going. He doesn't add that to his one-two arsenal. He's got a problem. That punch uh, a little mm. bit. A sharp left hand from Ramos. And money makes you throw him punches and moving. Yeah, it's almost like Ramos got a wake-up call here. His body Sorry, attack a lot right, better no, in this and, round. And, and, and that blow to the back of the head, I think, might have... Mm -hmm. At a long distance, yeah. he went a bad for idea, yeah, a bad right? idea, and he got hooked. A lot of missing from Santa Maria now. Step back. Field was his best round of the fight. One of the problems Santa doing enough to, to really change the flow of a fight is difficult. Yeah, we kind of got a sense putting in that it is tiring a little bit in Santa Maria, especially in these last rounds. Ramos right here with what, what, what he normally lands. Right here. Yeah, that's it. Great left, Great left yeah. yeah, and it's every time that Santa Maria tries to throw that uppercut from a uh, headline of the last four or five rounds has been that the right hook has been the hook. Yeah, Ramos now in clear control. Thing to change the flow of this fight if he can. Nice combination once more from Ramos. The stem, the flow. And he's trying, and he went right at it. Santa Maria. With two good body shots. And Santa Maria comes. Left hand a few times, just rounds together in fights like this. And he's done that after, you know. Ramos hit him. And while Santa Maria is still showing good movement, his counter. To push Ramos back, and he wasn't able to accomplish it. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Neither man's been as if it was a good counter by uh, Santa Maria, but neither man. Maria doing some nice counter punching in this round, but uh, is it enough? You know, Javier Capetillo, I think that's really good corner work. He knows where Santa Maria is in his fight. He also determination. He you know he kicked the stool and he he didn't yeah. sit down in this last round. Santa Maria. So we'll see. Oh, he did push uh, Ramos back a little bit there. Could be very pivotal in the scoring of this fight. It's surprising because I think he's more powerful as a righty, but and they wanted to set down on his. These serious mistakes here. We don't know, of course, because not doing anything careless here. Santa Maria is landing some nice right hands, and oh. Ramos off. Final ten seconds of this fight. Watch your head. Break. Break. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. After ten rounds of action, and still undefeated, Jesus El Mono. And that really was the biggest difference in the fight. Let's go to Jim Gray up the center of the ring. Jim.